<laughs> oh my God. This is when I have to say in the words of my fellow creator, uh, YouTube creator, honey, y'all already know. Those that know, know. Those that don't, don't. This is an insane story. Oh, God, help me, Lord Jesus. Help me, Jesus. Listen, y'all. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Let me know, let you know what happened in Lincoln, Nebraska, okay? Because it's just too damn crazy. A woman who was believed to be dead was breathing at a funeral home in Nebraska and is still alive, according to local sheriff's office. Authorities responded to the Buckthorst, Mazer, and Love funeral home around 11.45 a.m. for a medical emergency. <laughs> Law enforcement said home staff was conducting CPR on a woman who was taken to a local hospital. The woman, identified as 74-year-old Constance Glantz, was declared dead at around 9.44 a.m. Monday at a nursing home. Lancaster County Sheriff's Deputy Ben Holchin said, officials said Glass is still alive and her family has been notified. What the Sam's hell? Oh, I couldn't handle it. How would y'all do? Oh, my God. If you didn't cry, you didn't thought your loved one was dead, and you didn't, they didn't ship the body to the funeral home, and now they didn't call you back and telling you your relative is alive. What? <laughs> Y'all, please forgive me. Please forgive me. It's a hellhole. <laughs> Staff at the facility pronounced Glance, who was in hospice care, dead. Holcher said at the time there were no signs of criminal intent by the nursing home, but the investigation is ongoing. Both the nursing home and the funeral home <laughs> denied con uh, comment. Holcher called it a very unusual case. I've been doing this for 31 years, and nothing like this has ever gotten to this place before. There's been people we've gone to find, um, gone to and found before, but nothing like this has ever happened. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. Damn, damn, damn. Anyway, you know, that happened. As your hearing is the last to go. A lot of y'all know that. A lot of y'all don't. But, you know, a lot of times when you've been declared dead, you get these uh, twitches. Um, and I used to, one of my friend's family owned a, uh, used to, owned a, what was Lena's last name? Um, damn. They owned a, they family owned a home. I don't even want to tell you why it had to get closed down, but y'all can imagine unsavory behavior. Uh, but she the one was telling me that, uh, and she didn't have no friends because nobody at school wanted to be friends with her because <laughs> she was the undertaker's daughter. But you know how I am. I take it. whosoever will, let them come. And she ended up being a good friend. But anyway, they used to, I'd have been all down, see how they embalm the bodies and all that kind of stuff. And uh, that's, you know, another whole story. But she said that sometimes the bodies twitch. Um, and a lot of times they do it before they start draining the blood out the body, all kinds of crazy stuff. Child, I just want to know what y'all think. <laughs> that's because instead of planning for a funeral, you're going to be looking at her when she come home like, what the hell? Anyway, tell me what y'all think about this story. Golly. Golly.
If you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share the channel. I'll see you in the next video.